viewers and subscribers welcome back to my channel welcome back to stacy on the beast channel guys if you are new here please remember to like share comment and subscribe and guys i just want to share a clip of this video i see circulating on the internet it's about three days of darkness and this man that is right here is giving a message so i'm just gonna share maybe a five minutes or so out of it guys and I'll give you guys the name of the person and you go and look it up and watch the full video guys. So, I'm just going to share it with you guys. Yeah guys, I see a lot of people sharing the same um, 3D of Darkness message. So, I'm just here wondering to myself, um, there's a bunch of people get the same message like, you know, 3 days of darkness. So, you guys can just go and check it out and if you're interested in 3D of Darkness, you can watch other videos on YouTube. They're talking about the same thing. 3D of darkness. So I'm just gonna share the video with you all. Shalom, my dearly beloved. I greet you in the peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. Um, this message is about the three days of darkness. The Lord had visited me in the morning whilst I was praying, and He gave me a prophecy about the three days of darkness. Amen. Now. I know some people out there are scoffing, saying it's not real, it's not coming. Brothers and sisters, it is coming. Amen. Matter of fact, the Lord said in Matthew 24, 29, that before his return, the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give its light. So there's no point running around shouting, Jesus is coming back. Everyone's having rapture dreams. Jesus is coming back. I will not look at the signs that he said that would happen prior to his return. And one of those signs that he said was that the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give us light. Amen. The Lord spoke of this darkness. Amen. <laughs> but before I go into the prophecy, I just want to give a little backstory for those who are not aware of the three days of darkness or for the brothers and sisters to understand how is it that I came to be in the knowing and the revelation of the three days of darkness. So first of all, I heard a sister Carrie Ann Giddon, prophetess from the Lord, declared that the Lord given her a vision that she saw three days of darkness. In her dream, she took from it that you was not meant to be outside in the darkness. There will be demonic activity and you must be inside and close your windows and cover them. The Lord then revealed to her another vision about the three days of darkness where he revealed to her that it will be in April. He wasn't specific what year or what April, but he made it clear it will be April and it will begin around 10.30 and it begun to sweep over the land, the whole world. Now the Bible says it will happen at 12 noon. Amen. So if it starts at 10.30 and begin to slowly sweep, then maybe around noon the whole world would be in darkness. Midday. Amen. The Lord then later revealed to her again that on the 7th of this April month, it will still be dark. Amen. At the 7th, on 7.30, it will still be dark. So I was going to the Lord and I was saying, Lord, you know, like, you're giving her a lot of revelations about this, this three days of darkness, like as if it's soon. You know, I need you to speak more to me. So the Lord gave me a vision of my own. Not the same night that I prayed afterwards. And I too had the three days of darkness. And in my three days of darkness, people went outside and they died. The demon activity out there was plenty. Now I was away from my family, so I wanted to travel through the darkness to get to them because my thought was, oh, I'm anointed man of God. I'm God's chosen servant. I can go through the darkness. I'll be fine. I couldn't survive it. I had to run back inside quickly. I was being, it was too much. You're not meant to be in the darkness. Amen. And so more time had gone by and I felt in my urgency, in my spirit, like, seek the Lord on this thing. It is coming. It is coming soon. So I went to bed one night before I went to sleep. I was praying to the Lord about it. And as I lay down to sleep, I was talking to the Lord in my mind about it. And when I woke up in the morning, I saw a notification on my phone that a sister Kate from Africa somewhere, the Lord revealed to her the feelings of darkness. And he told her it would be on a Sunday. So now the Lord had revealed the month is April. 
It's now revealed that it will be on a Sunday. And it's also revealed that on the 7th, it will still be dark. So the Lord led me then to research what Sunday, three days later, will still be dark on the 7th. 2021 is the only year. 2022, 2023, 2024, that will make the three days of darkness five days long, six days long. The Bible says three days long. So the Lord had now confirmed to me that it has to be this year. So I was praying about it and I'm like, Lord, you know I'm on here sharing your word. I will not be held accountable for sharing anything that is wrong. I will not be one of those people that lead your people astray and give them false messages. I have to be sure. And you have to confirm it. The Lord, not only did he confirm it to me, but he also visited me and he explained to me why he's doing it. Amen. So brothers and sisters, I'm about to give you the prophecy that the Lord has given me. He's also given me a few scriptures also. I will also share these scriptures. But please, brothers and sisters, whether you cover your windows with paint, I've personally used bin bags and duct tape. I've already covered my windows. It's only a week away. Brothers and sisters, do not go outside. If you hear a voice that sounds like someone you know, do not even open the door. It's a demon imitating the person's voice because no one will survive in the darkness. Amen? So, without going into too much, let me just get straight into the prophecy right now. So, this is the Lord speaking. Amen. This isn't my words. Amen. So, guys, I'm leaving it right said, here. He said um, people can share his video, so I do. I have had enough of this sinful generation. <laughs>